Hey guys, it's Rushdie here, how you all doing? Uh, you may remember I started a series about Oki. So we were talking about normal hits, overheads and meaty throws after all knockdowns. So I started this series about two months ago and um, I haven't got around to doing it. It's partly because I knew it would be a lot of work and um, I sort of got distracted by ranked pretty much and playing online. So. As much as fun, as much fun as um, beating down players is, uh, it's back to business now for the rest of the season. So I'm going to finish the Oki videos off, and then we'll finish the How to Punish. So I've been saying that quite a lot, but you know, it's time I knuckle down with the free time that I've got. So that's what's going on, and that's what I've said to you guys before. Um, this video is, uh, how can I, how can I explain this? So I did the introduction which explained why meaty grabs don't always work. And then I did, I think it was, I think it was V-Trigger and non-V-Trigger, quick rise. So I'm going to unpublish that video. I'll leave the link to the video on the channel. So I'll leave it in these OQ videos, but you won't be able to search for it. I'm going to start from scratch. So the introduction will stay there, which I'll link, in, link you to as well. But in this video, I'm going to do non-V-Trigger, quick rise. I'll do another video non v-trigger back rise and i'm gonna do the same thing for v-trigger as well before i do these videos one thing i do want to say is talking to a few other chem players we're talking about the you know the elites the pros they've said outside of um heavy kick tattoo oh, okay because you get the um after heavy kick tattoo you get the i'm really crap at doing it but you get that yeah you get that and that covers quick rise and back rise after heavy kick tattoo. You have to chain that. If you don't chain it, it doesn't work. Like that. If you can't do that, it's not going to work. So if they... Show you again. So if you do... I think it's in that situation. Chin buster into heavy kick tattoo. If you dash forward. I can't even do it myself now. Yeah, that probably is a bit slow, but that's the old setup. So that covers quick rise, back rise. Every other knockdown for Ken, and this is very, very important. Every other knockdown for Ken involves a quick rise or back rise setup, and they're all different. What I've realized is, and what I'm trying to learn, it's really hard, very hard, is to react to the opponent quick rising and back rising. So one thing that is very good for that is if you dash forward, Sand light punch, sand light kick. It's a four frame and it has good reach. If you do light punch back, medium punch, it's not always good because that'll whiff. But if you look, that seems to hit most range. And why that's good is it's four frame, so it'll be quite quick wake up jabs. Obviously, the three frame that Bison's got set to three frame reversal. Um, if you can react, so if you can knock the opponent down. I was late there. See that I reacted. I didn't set the Oki up. I reacted to the quick rise, back rise. If you can do that, I think that's the way to go. And that's what a lot of these Ken players have said. Reacting to the knockdown with a meaty is better than a set Oki setup. I've had this I've had this discussion for a while now and debating with myself and with others what's better. I'm gonna go down that route but that doesn't mean that's the best route because you can get jabbed out of it because there's no because you haven't set up a precise meaty setup so you haven't gone for the inverted commas quick rise setup after heavy punch dp knockdown you're not guaranteed to get that meaty because you're timing it by eye you know that's what you're doing you're timing it by visual you know um stimulation should i say but um with the setups they're guaranteed to work as long as your opponent does that rise type. But the problem with that is, if they back rise and you go for the quick rise setup, you're gonna get hit. If you go for the quick rise, if you go for the back rise setup by the quick rise, you're gonna get hit. That's why I don't like doing this. And I'm not sure, I'm gonna try it out and see how things go. I can only try and take it from there, but to react is super hard because your brain is trying to commit to one or the other. You're trying to, even though you're trying to react, your fingers are sort of ready to pull the trigger and that's why you get hit. So I know it's, it's a long winded introduction guys. That's my situation, that's where I want to go. But regardless, I'm still gonna make these videos for you guys anyway. So one last thing I'm gonna say is, 
I'm, I'm not showing any meter grabs off because I think grabs have to be timed by eye. There's no real, a lot of the times you do grabs after these setups, you have to introduce a delay of some kind, like a small delay, a, a fairly larger delay, and you can't really guarantee them. So I'm not gonna cover any meaty grabs at all. You have to time those. If they're wake up jab, you have to time the meaty grabs by eye. So I'm gonna cover situations where um, you meaty and you overhead meaty. That'll be for every knockdown, so that's everything. Um, what I'll try to do as best as possible is, so for example, this is very important, so a, a juggle into Dragon Punch, like that, and a grounded Dragon Punch, and then you've got situations like Lively Tatsu, which is just a juggle, Dragon Punch. They all have different Ogre setups to a varying degree, there's different frame data. I've tried to find this where everywhere where one Oki setup for a quick rise and then back rise, so two in total, will cover all th situations. So anytime you get a heavy punch DP, I've tried to cover an Oki setup that covers them in a juggle state, in a grounded state, line breaker, like it tatsu, so on and so forth. Anytime that that doesn't work, there are, I think for, yeah, it looks like on my charts that for V trigger, the grounded and the juggle Oki is different after heavy punch and exdp knockdowns so i hope that makes sense guys so it's long-winded introduction actually this will be another introduction to the series and then we'll pick up the uh, individual oki setups so here's the introduction mark two so i hope that's been helpful guys make sure you watch this first and then watch the following video so cool i'll see you in the next video take care